You'd think an antenna that is taller than it is wide would be vertically polarised. But not in this case. Let me introduce the oblong antenna. Really simple to build, yet gives horizontal polarisation. That's an advantage for modes on 2 metres like SSB, CW and weak signal digital modes. The antenna is twice as tall as it is wide. The version I made for the bottom end of 2 metres is 360 millimetres wide and 720 millimetres high. I suggest making it a little bit bigger and trimming it down until you're resonant on the frequency you want. You might be more familiar with the more common square quad loop. That works fine, except it's got a feed point impedance of around 100 to 120 ohm. That's a bit difficult to match to 50 ohm. Whereas, if you change the shape of the loop, then you can get the impedance down to 50 ohm. Apparently, it has a little more gain, but less bandwidth than the standard quad loop. The antenna is light enough to be supported on a thin fishing pole. As you can see, there's a bit of a null off the sides. Maximum signal is broadside. SWR one to one, perfect. The loop is also quite effective for receiving on the aircraft band. Temperature 1 2. On first contact with Essendon, Browns, Tower, or Melbourne approach, notify receipt of Golf. 230 degrees 7 knots on my 16 clear to land. Melbourne Tower, 686. 686, Melbourne Tower. The loop even receives well on unexpected frequencies. <laughs> This loop won't give you much gain, but it's just the thing if you want something that's very simple to make but will get you a horizontally polarised antenna for SSB or digital modes. Because it's bi-directional, you can just put it in one spot and leave it, and you'll be able to work quite a wide range of stations.